All right, let's get this divine beast over with. Now, despite what I said, I actually do a little bit of um, some extra stuff after I clear the divine beast because it only takes me like, I think, less than a half hour, I think. So I, I do like you know, one or two extra things. And uh, unlike usual, I have a, uh, another video recorded ahead of this one where I, I actually get quite a bit done. I get like four or five shrines done and a bunch of side quests. Of course, I kind of cheated because the side quests I do, like, four of them are literally given by one person. Well, I actually do one of them in this video, but, like, the other three are given by the same person. But I'll we'll see about that later on. I, I essentially clear out Kakariko Village in terms of Psy content next episode. I don't think. I don't think there's anything I missed. Yes, Divine Beast. And I instantly fuck up. Damn. Yeah, I mean, hey, I get through it, but I, 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 I'm not exactly the most, um, most, uh, majestic with, uh, with it, eh? But still. It's, it's nice to get another Divine Beast done, though. Of course, this means that it's gonna be, like, a long period of just side content. Shrines and side quests, shrine quests, uh, finding the fairies, uh, you know, all that jazz. I mean, you know, not every little thing, obviously, but still uh, got a lot to do. A lot of, uh, a lot of boxes to check. But uh, I'll get through them uh, one at a time. Yeah, if I could get like four or five shrines done a video like I do in the next video. I, I, I can't remember if it was four or five. Uh, if I can do that, I can... Uh, shit, how many shrines have I done? Do I have 60 done yet? I don't think so. Well, I'll see when I get to another loading screen, but either way, I uh, I, I just want to be able to get through this game quickly without you know, too much hassle. Of course, there's still the DLC stuff, the the champion battle, the champion champions battle, whatever it's called. And actually, I, I um speaking of that, I am gonna actually change things up a bit. Uh, obviously, not next video because I already recorded it, but the video after that, I'm actually gonna stop and just do all the DLC stuff, like the e the EX chests, which have like all those clothing and stuff in them. I'm gonna actually just kind of stop and just do all those, cause, you know, for one thing, they're scattered all over the place, for one thing. So it, it would be nice to just do them all at once. I mean, I, I don't know if there are any in like in the Goron area, actually, but if there aren't, then I'll get all of them done before I move on after that. Because I want to be able to, um, it just because it, it's just kind of cluttering up the the side quest thing, and there's like a lot. There's there's like ten of these side quests, so if I do those, it that you know taking a whole bunch off. That's over. That's there's only like ninety side quests, I think, even with DLC. So that's over a tenth of the side quests, and that's not counting the ones I've already done. So yeah, it'll be nice to just kind of get those over with. Yeah, I always forget, I, I I keep thinking there's more side quests, but no, there's not even 100, there's only 90, with DLC included. I'm pretty sure. There we go, I got the map. Hooray! The bell bird. Ugly bird, I hate it. You'll need to look closely at your map of the divine beast. Jesus, is that you? That will no. That you mean that's why I don't like Revali, because I don't like birds. You'll then again, I don't mind Falco. Uh, yes, I think. Maybe. I don't know. You're putting a lot of pressure on me. Oh, yeah, and another thing is, um, between, I think, but, I think, hmm, when was it? I th was it between this video and the next? Or after the next video? But at, at some point, I actually stop and I perform some glitches to give me a shit ton of rupees. So, I'll be able to, that'll be helpful. So. It, it, it wasn't because I, uh, apparently the snowball trick actually really isn't that helpful. I did the um, I don't do it on screen. I do the um, the, the glitch where you s flip one of the, there's uh, from what I understand there's four like of those like decay guardians that don't activate. They're just like dead. Um, there's four of them across uh, Hyrule that you can kind of flip over. And if you move them far away enough, they just like start infinitely spawning whatever item they were supposed to drop. 
And you have, yeah, so you have to like flip them over, then use a metal object with Manesis to just push them over. Just look up like the infinite agent parts glitch if you don't know what I'm talking about. And there's videos on it on YouTube. So I just did that. I just got a bunch of ancient stuff and sold it all off. And I should have enough money to do like the, um, I definitely, definitely buy a house. Um, but I, I think any like side quests where you need money to get it done, I think I'm pretty much set with that. So that's good. I won't have to worry about rubies too much. Of course, I still gotta buy um, uh, heat resistant stuff uh, from the Goron area. Yeah, it's annoying. There's two different types of heat. There's desert heat and then there's volcano heat. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, and this this isn't a very graceful part right here. I I I, I can't fire the bow to save my goddamn life. Or I mean, you know, I can't hit that giant glowing orb that's right in front of my fucking face to save my life. Oh, it, it is nice to get this. Uh, Divide Beast done especially because Revali's Gale is like the best ability. I don't actually know Mephis Grace is actually the best, definitely, but Revali's Gale is definitely a close second. Because it's just so helpful for. Yeah, I don't know why. The fucking gyrosco gyro control thing and the controller was like just acting all wonky. I could just not get it to act fucking steady for some reason. I, I don't know. I, I really don't. At least I got an arrow back. But, um,. Yeah, yeah, Raleigh's Gale is just so great for climbing mountains. So fucking great. Oh, boy. Yeah, once I do the Battle of the Champions, the, um, the cooldown dec decreases. I don't, I don't remember about how much for each one, for each of the abilities, but... Yeah, I do know that... Yeah, you could... There we go. Um, yeah, the cooldown goes down. So, like, once I clear the Goron Divine Beast, I'll instantly stop and do the battle and stuff. I still want to like do like essentially like all the like you know shrines and side quests from like the other areas before I do the last of Iron Beast. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I gotta do it eventually. So the order doesn't matter too much, I guess. But yeah, whatever. And of course, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna um, enter Hyrule Castle until I've exhausted everything else I can do outside of it, which is. Pretty much everything, but of course there is that one memory that lingers in Hyrule Castle, which is annoying. And it's not even like the last one either. It's like number like two or three or something, which is really stupid. Hmm. Yeah, I need to gather the memories too. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I will at some point. Obviously not the one in Hyrule Castle, but... I'll get them, eventually. Yeah, I have a little bit of trouble taking these... <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. There we go. Jesus. Like, it's almost hard to watch. Hooray. Well, at least I got that. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, there he is. Fucker. He's got an eye. Yeah, the, yeah every damn time he's passed out just one last skull monster. Every damn time. Stupid mouths. Yay, eye heroes. Nice. But, um, what was I saying? Shoot, I forgot. I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> it happens. Anywho, um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wait, what was I saying? I think I was talking about DLC stuff. Oh, well. Yeah, I still gotta do, uh, do all that shit at some point. <laughs> There's so much to do, so little time. So, so many side quests, so many DLC things, so many shrines to clear. It's a mess. Thank God I'm not doing the Korok Seed shit, or I think I would probably go insane. Uh, man, I, I, I actually went through, I kind of watched, well, I kind of skipped around, um, a speed run of Breath of the Wild, a 100%, and like like 90% of the run is just using this shield hop glitch to like, that like kind of blows you up, so you go just sent flying. Like, like 90% of the video is just him, like, just setting up that glitch and just blowing himself up so he'd go fly to another Korok Seed puzzle. That's, like, 90% of the video is crazy. And the video is, like, 20 hours long. At least the one I watched. It was nuts. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 20, 20 hours speedrun, you know? Like, it's a speedrun that takes, like, nearly a day. 
again, at least the one I watched, because it also included all DLC stuff too. <laughs> like at that point, it hardly feels like a speed run anymore. If it takes an entire day to get through, or nearly a day. I, I know for some speed runs, if they're long enough, they actually give the person time to actually like take a nap. I I think I think actually I don't know if that actually counts turn it towards the time or not though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a in the most condescending way. No, but really though, um, like, like I think like the Animal Crossing speed run, like 100%, like that takes like dozens of hours or something. It's not very fun to watch either. I I, I just get around. It's basically just entering item codes for the, a million hours, you know. It's always gotta suck to do speed runs like that. They're just so fucking dull. Like I would imagine doing one that's like stressful would be better than doing one that's really fucking boring, but I never tried to do a speedrun before, so I wouldn't really know. Yeah, right, yeah, I'm kinda curious about that. Like what would be better? Doing a speedrun that's, that's like very stressful and takes like a lot of practice and has like a lot of glitches and stuff? Or one that's like extremely repetitive to the point where it's just dull as dirt to do. Like Animal Crossing, you know? I don't know. E either one sounds bad to me. I would never do it. I, ca I can't speed run. I, I would never have the patience for that. Like, Jesus Christ. Sometimes it takes them like tens of thousands of tries just to do something. It's like, no, I'm good. Thank no, thank you. I I'd rather keep what little sanity I have in check. Thank you very much. Yeah, like there's that one guy who did like that one level of golden eye. And it took him like like twenty thousand tries or something. I don't know, something crazy like that. Like tens of thousands of tries to do this one level that lasted less than a minute, just to get the world record. It's really gotta suck when someone else. Uh, one day it'll happen, I'm sure. One day someone will swoop in and uh, beat that record. That's really gotta suck. <laughs> when when that shit happens. Like, I couldn't imagine doing that either, like, we're doing tens of thousands of tries to get, like, um, you know, the perfect run to beat the world record, and then someone else just comes in and beats it. It's like, I, oh, Like, I kind of get it. It's sort of like a competition, but Jesus, I couldn't handle that. Uh, I would just be so disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can barely beat video games in the normal way. I can't speedrun. It's, it's, just, it's not in me. I do I do love watching them though. I, like when it, like a lot of times when I like beat a new game or sometimes I just watch a playthrough of a game. Sometimes like with Psychonauts too, I just uh, yeah yeah that finally came out um, like two weeks ago. I I, I didn't even notice. I, I never heard anyone talk about it. So I'm like oh shit yeah that did come out. I knew that was coming out at some point. But anyway um but. Like yeah, I, I was I just watched the playthrough of those games because I didn't feel like buying it, and then I'm instantly like, okay, now I want to kind of see what a speed runs like. And yeah, but it's pretty much the same thing as the playthrough I watched, except they just skipped through all the cutscenes, so I didn't watch too much. And of course, there's not really too many speed runs of Second Eyes Two yet, because again, it's only like two weeks old at this point, I think. Yeah, it was released like August 20 something, I think. God, imagine having to wait 16 years for the sequel of a game. I can I couldn't imagine. I mean, nuts. I think yeah, I think it was released. Yeah, the original was released in 2005. Of course, it was that VR game though, kind of like a little bit of an intersection. But that was only like an hour long thing, I think. Or at least the playthrough I watched was like an hour. Cause there's not a lot of side content to do, cause it's just kind of straightforward, just. Just like, going along the path, basically. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine waiting that long for a sequel to a game I loved. That would suck. Yeah, because the first one ends on a fucking cliffhanger. So, oh yeah, Lily's dad got kidnapped. It's like, oh shit. That's pretty severe. <laughs> yeah. Um. Fuck. Six, again, 16 years. This is just crazy. I I did I how I loved how they got um because there for those who don't know in Psychonauts two there's an ability where you can make like a projection of yourself basically of Raz and he's vo he he's voiced by um, the guy who voices Ga uh, Raz uh, voiced uh, Zim and Invader Zim and then his little projection is the guy who voiced Gur 
and he's basically doing his girl voice, but without the little metallic, robotic, like, whatever you would call that. Not an accent, but, you know, like the little overtone. Hooray! I love how he's talking to Link like he's a fucking, like he's a fucking idiot. Just like, oh, there should be a big glowy spot. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Ravioli. Ravioli, Ravioli. <laughs> Let's free the Beastioli. Eh. Any rate, um, yeah, yeah, I just love that. You got fucking, the guy who did Gur's voice to do that. That was great. Nice little nod. I kind of wonder if we're, if we're ever going to get more Invader Zim content. Like, I know we had to enter the floor fist, but I, I was never sure if that was supposed to be, like, a sign that, like, maybe more Invader Zim stuff in the future, or that was just kind of like a one-to-one -one deal. One-and-done deal. I know there's the comics. I don't know if they're still making more of those, though. Oh. Yeah, I actually have kind of a, kind of a bit of trouble with this one, actually. Found it harder than the Gerudo one. That's for damn sure. But at least I managed to do it. That's all that matters. Ugh, it's ugly. Wind blight cannon. I still, I'm still not too fond of the designs, to be honest, of the blights. Uh huh. Oh, you think you're so clever. Actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll go off and do something else for a while. Maybe, you know, just, just, you know. Yeah, don't try to attack him when he's an orb, like I am. I did because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. That, those attacks hit hard. I, I should have, um, I should have equipped like a. I, I guess it's too cold to really equip my shells because, because I, I need as much of the cold resistance stuff as I can. Hmm. So I guess I, uh, I was about to say, I, I should have like equipped like the phantom armor or something, but that probably wouldn't really have worked too well, because again, too gold. I guess I could have just swapped it in while I was attacking, but whatever. Too late now. Too late to do, too late to think about that. Yeah, I, I was thinking that would knock him out of the sky, but apparently not. It just hurts him a little bit. Hitting him in the eye with an arrow doesn't do much either. Like, I would think that would, like, stun him or, again, knock him out of the sky, but no, not really. It just kind of annoys it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I managed to hit it dead center in the eye uh, once or twice, but it, it doesn't do much. It just does a little bit of damage. Fuh. It's so weird fighting. I... I, I, I like, I know Beemos were a thing in Zelda games, but it's still weird to fight a boss that just shoots giant fucking lasers at you. I don't know. It's still weird thinking about, like, all this futuristic tech in a Zelda game. Because, yeah, we've had technology in Zelda games, obviously, but nothing ever to the extent of the Divine Beasts. Never got anywhere close. I mean, for fuck's sake, the DLC has a fucking, um... Has a, has a motorcycle that Link can ride around on. I mean, you know, it doesn't get much more advanced than that. For, a, you know, Zelda. I mean, I mean hell, the Sheikah Slate, that's like an iPad, basically. Uh, you know, uh, a little bit. I mean, you can take, you can take selfies with it. <laughs> and then again, we had the Picto Box on Wind Waker, too, but, eh. That's not quite the same. Even though, again, you could take selfies with it. At least the remake. I don't know if you could actually do that in the original. Could you? I don't remember. But no one's like the HD version, you could. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Hit him in the hand. Pissed him off. Oh. Yeah, then he summons these little drone things. I don't like it. <laughs> well, where's that? That's like. It. Okay. That's what Z targeting's for. Or I guess it's not really Z targeting in this game, but whatever. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, good thing I have this gigantic thing in the middle of the arena I can hide behind. Yeah, didn't think that didn't think about that, did you wind blight? <laughs> Not that it stops me from getting my ass kicked, but you know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I actually die at some point. 
And uh, I think I even use a uh, fairy at some point. There we go. Uh, or do I defeat him here? No? Okay. Yeah, I, I know I definitely use Mipha's Grace at some point during this fight. Which, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, but I love that. Mipha's Grace is just so goddamn overpowered. And not only do you heal entirely, but you get extra hearts, too. Like, Jesus. Like, I know it has a really long, like, uh, recharge, but still. Like, you would never get to use it twice in one battle, you know, because it's, it's just such a long recharge, but still. Uh, do I? Oh, okay, no, I don't. Hmm. Could have sworn he actually killed me at one point. Or, you know, made me decide to use Mipha's Grace. Apparently not. Ah. Okay, I can't kind of understand Revali losing that thing. That thing was annoying. And also, Revali sucks. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just splurt out your goo. Yeah, that didn't sound right. Anyway, there he is, splurting out his goo. Oh, that's so pleasant. That's fantastic. Great, th great job. <laughs> the explosion just takes out Link with it. Just knocks him straight off the fucking, the, the fucking uh, divine beast. All right. Well, good. I did it. Three divine beasts down. One to go. After a really long hiatus of doing divine beasts. Yeah, who knows? It's probably gonna take me like ten videos. I don't know. That's just, I'm just spitballing ten videos, maybe, probably more, before I get to, get to do another divine beast. Yeah, I finally get to my second row of hearts, though. That's nice. Yep, there we go. Nice. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I never want to step foot on this Divine Beast ever again. Let us flee. Let us depart. Alright, cool. Gotta love those Sheikah Slates. They can just do whatever. They activate the towers, they activate the divine beasts, they activate the shrines. Excuse me, this is a kid's game. Oh wait, he said plucked. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> it's Ravioli. Hello. Ravioli, the Rito champion. Well done. Thank you. I suppose you. I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I don't know what preen means. <laughs> like patting myself on the back, I assume. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The ability to fly, that is so unique. I, I love this bit right here. <laughs> yeah, you know he was throwing that shit as hard as he could just to annoy Link. Well, it didn't work. They didn't even make me stagger. Nice try. Stupid, stupid feathered fuck. It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Well, I mean, I guess. Fuck off. <laughs> he doesn't say it. No, 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 doesn't say a word. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Your job is far from finished, you know. Oh, I know. Trust me. I, I, I don't. You don't gotta tell me. I know. I, I, I've got months before this shit's over. Yeah. It would be nice if I could get this playthrough done before the end of the year, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'd be very surprised. But yeah. Hopefully, at least before Breath of the Wild Two comes out, though. I mean, we don't even know if it's coming out next year. I think they just said they were aiming for next year, so. I'm ho I hope it comes out next year, though. Lord knows we've had so little information on it, even with that extra, you know, trailer we got earlier this year. Yeah, this is like the lamest of the... Of the I, I guess it's kind of cool. I was going to say, like, the lamest of the, like, little animations so far, but, eh. I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Rito down there are fucking panicking. They're having a mass evacuation. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it should... I, I feel like that should have just crumbled a bit after that. Like, that doesn't look like it's sturdy enough to lift this thing. But whatever. 
And I do like how the one propeller on the right there just keeps spinning. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. There we go, let's stop now. I just thought it was funny. Oh shit. What? Got a beak laser. This could take a while, just trust me on that. You've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. Uh, yeah, about that. It's going to take a while, man. Don't. And yeah, not to, not to ruffle your feathers, but who boy. It's going to take a while. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop ripping on Rivali. Only because we're done with Rivali's part. I hope that luck holds out, Link. For everyone's sake. Hooray! We're done. And now I, just, I do a couple... I, I activate that one tower I never had activated way down to the southeast. What else do I do? I think I do like a side quest or two, I think. I don't remember everything I do. In the next, uh... Not, not, not quite 20 minutes. There it is, Revised Gale. And the best part is you can do it three times before you need to recharge it. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's divine, almost. Yeah, it's good. Good, good, good. Three down, one to go. Yeah, those Gorons are going to just have to wait, though. And hello, hello to you, too. Tiba. Always forget his name. And even when I kind of remember, I think it might be like Tita, not Tiba, because I just don't care about this guy at all. Oh. It's so weird how Link doesn't, just doesn't tell anyone. He's like, eh, whatever. I guess he's not one to boast, I suppose. Well. Yeah, it is pretty convenient that there was like this rejuvenation chamber just for, you know, when someone needed it. Because I, I think that's like the only one in Hyrule. No one ever talks about any other kind. Yeah, thank God we had that one, just in case. Yeah, like it wasn't like it was like made for Link. It, it was just very, it just so happened he needed it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, whatever. I don't think I've ever actually used any of the items I got from Duke and Divine Beasts yet. Yeah, and then that's it. Yeah, he, he did actually, he did finally mention the Master Sword. Yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe if I talked to him again, he might finally realize it, but... Whatever, old man. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm throwing away bow. Don't need that. Nice bows are a dime a dozen. I mean, I guess every item, or every weapon is, for the most part, except for the champion items. You can find essentially an infinite amount of any of them, if you know where to look. Yeah, I, did, I didn't even realize I had a fucking baked apple with me the entire time. I totally forgot. Yeah, didn't there's sort of like her fiancé or husband or whatever. Yeah, they're on their honeymoon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he needs flimp. I, I think he only comes out at night or something, because I couldn't find him. Yeah, I kind of like just kind of go down the village and just see if there was like anyone else I'd eat a quit. This guy will actually make you another one of the... Yeah, I didn't mean to talk to her. Um, yeah, the great old bow. <laughs> yeah, this one-of-a-kind weapon from the champion. I can make you a new one if you got the, the components, I guess. Should have just made them unbreakable. But that, that, that's too powerful. I, I still don't like the whole Master Sword energy thing. I still think that's stupid. Like, I get it. It's, like, such a powerful weapon that having have infinite energy would be too much, but I don't know. Like, especially when you do, if if you do all the trials, I think, then you kind of earned it. Well, except for me, because I glitched my way through, but, you know, let's not tell Nintendo that. Yep, and uh, I'll get to that eventually. Helping her with the uh, keel. Uh, yeah, she'll, she'll have, to, uh, have to deal with her lost child for a while. I, I got other shit to do. I, I gotta do shit in Kakariko Village. Yeah, but again, I'm pretty sure by the end of the next video, I don't think I have anything left to do in Kakariko Village. I, 
I don't, there's only two shrines nearby. It's got the Great Fairy. Um, you know, I, I do all the side quests. I think the only thing left there to do is just like talk to Impa after I free all the divine beasts. I think that's pretty much it. Or when I like, or like, and the memory thing. So, but aside from that, of course, I can't actually do that stuff yet. Need some arrows. I basically have none, or oh, I have none of the regular kind. Hooray. Uh, yeah, where do I go now? Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta get that one tower, and the, yeah, the Faron area. That big empty space on my map. I don't like it. Of course, there's still the Goron one, which is gonna remain empty for a long while. Hey, let's see. Uh, 49 shrines. Okay. So even at the end of the next video, I'm not gonna be halfway through with the shrines. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. I, I need to stop going on about how long this is going to take me. Even though this is going to take me a long ass time. Hey, let's just, let's just be glad, I'm f or at least I'll be glad, that I'm going to get uh, this this uh, tower done uh, after all this time. Of course, if you enter it from this angle, it's actually very easy to get through. Yeah, I was just approaching it from the wrong angle because I wasn't very smart. I'm still not very smart. Yeah, I'm out clear. Th I, I do like how there's, a, there's just this random ass jungle area. But I suppose all the other biomes are pretty diverse too. Yeah, got a, a, a mountains with snow and then a volcano right next door, and then there's a desert, and then there's a big ass river, and a jungle, and a beach, and grasslands, and a marsh. Yeah, I was very diverse with this, uh, with this um, land area, with this biomes. I don't know why I felt the need to buy all those. I guess just in case I needed one for a side quest or something. I don't know. It never hurts to be prepared. Yeah. And again, like if you approach the tower from this side, it's actually pretty easy to get through. I was just approaching it from like the worst possible angle last time. Oh well, again, at least I get it done this time. I finally activated. My map is not so blank. Not quite as blank. Yeah, but I just love Revali's Gale. It's just so damn overpowered for climbing. Which I know is obviously the point. It's great. Yeah, one thing I forgot is that there are actually other clothes that help with climbing, I'm pretty sure. Not just the bandana. I think I only found that out recently. Cause I did, or if I did know about it earlier, I just forgot about it. But I don't think I'd really need it, but I don't know. I'll probably get those things eventually anyway. Because I think you find them in a shrine. So I'll get to them eventually. And just this asshole. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did not Okay, I did not need that image. Uh, looking at the wizard rope skirt. Yeah, I could I could have probably just ignore this asshole, but whatever. Yeah, I didn't know you could actually kill Keats with a um Shield parry like that. Well, the more you know. And I do like how you only have to kill like one key, and then the rest are like, alright, fuck it, let's get out of here. <laughs> Don't want to mess with this guy. Yeah, see, there we go. Gets you like halfway up the tower. Of course, even then, because I'm stupid, I almost fall anyway. Yeah, I do love the scenery in this game. It all looks so great. I'm I'm really wondering how they're gonna handle like the like reuse of the same high rule in the next game. Like, like is it gonna be, be like mostly in the sky or something? I thought maybe like most of the game would be underground or something. But I guess after a game where you have like a bunch of big sprawling areas, you know, being in an underground area probably would be like the worst possible move. <laughs> yeah, unless you had like a big cavern like um a uh, uh, black reach from Skyrim, but. It still the one would be the same as, you know, big mountains and giant fields and yada yada yada. See that mountain? You can climb it, except for real this time. Yeah, yeah, except yeah, it's actually true in this case. Yeah, take that, Todd Howard. You don't even need a horse to climb that mountain. And there you go. 
Gotta love how it also fills in the ocean, even though, you know, it's just mostly just water, except for that one island. Yeah, I need mean, that, that's not, I don't like that side quest, but I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Uh, Evertide or whatever it's called. I'll have to do it eventually. I, I, you know, I was, I was thinking like, just in case, I'm gonna see if Ferocious was flying through, because I don't have its schedule memorized. But, yeah, once I saw that, yeah, the dragon's not here. I, I, I was uh, watching the speed run, you know, like I said, and I, th I think it, like, flies through here, like, first thing in the morning. Because he was, like, yeah, he was camping out and, like, like to gather some of its scales and stuff to sell off or whatever. And, um, yeah, I guess it, like, flies under the bridge, like, early in the morning. Yep, uh... And uh, yeah, I just do a couple side stuff, uh, side bits here in Kakariko Village, and that's it. Yeah, I help Coco out with her cooking stuff. I feel so bad for Coco. Like she's basically like, oh yeah, my mom's dead. And I want to be like a good, like, like parental, like big sister figure for my little sister. And Coco's like five. It's so depressing. She's just always all about her dead mom. I just feel so bad. Uh, poor Coco. At least I can help her with her cooking, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah your uh, mom's st uh, still dead, kid. Sorry. Yeah, it's annoying because you can't actually do these side quests when it's raining. But thankfully, there's the end right next door, so whatever. Yeah, I forgot I had actually talked to this guy before, I'm pretty sure. Right? Did I already start this? Yeah, I already started this. Yeah, it's not, uh, yeah retroactively, I just decided I wanted to just fuck with this guy, get his hopes up. I do like how the Korok just kind of lingers there. He, he's just chilling. Yeah, you know. Yeah, haha, you found me. Now I'm just going to chill here for the rest of the game. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, I think I was looking around for side quests. Because I didn't, like, have my, um... Like, my thing open. Like, I didn't have, like, a guide open or anything. I don't know. There could, there could have been a side quest in there, for all I know. Yeah, but yeah, Coco, she has, there's four side quests with her, where you basically just have to bring her an item. And if you happen to have all of them on you at once, you can basically just keep talking to her and, like, get all four done in, like, five minutes. Or not even five minutes. Yeah. But again, you can't do it, yeah, when when it's raining. If again, she's, she's like five or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know child proportions, but she looks like she's like five or six. And she's like, oh, yeah, I got to just cook for my little sister because my mom's dead. I'm just like, oh, that's depressing. Yeah but, yeah, but again, you can't, um, you can't actually give it to her until it stops raining. And I don't think I actually even had any. So, yeah, I only had the Endura carrot, I think. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I could have sworn I had some. Yeah, but thankfully there's a, there's a shop right next door that sells them, so it's not a problem. Yeah, but I love it because like half the side quests in this village is just giving Coco an item. Because again, that's like four side quests out of like ten, I think. So like pretty almost half of the side quests is just here, take this food item. And then, and then, like another one is playing like hide and go seek or tag with uh, Coco's little sister. And, you know, and that that takes like a minute. Yeah, yeah, it sucks to be you. Yeah, but I was I was determined. I was I was not gonna end this video until I completed the side quest, at least one of them. I finish out the rest of Coco's cooking next time. Yeah, this role has like a fucking bow fetish. <laughs> like she, she gets like really hot and steamy when talking about bow and arrow shit. Like it's crazy. No, like seriously, she gets like she's she's like getting like fucking turned on and like behind the counter, just talking about like notching and bows and stuff. It's weird. I mean, yeah, I guess everyone has their fetish, but bow and arrow is a weird one. That, that's for damn sure. <laughs> I, have a, I, have a, I have a fetish for watching people fire an arrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, like, he's like, she's just, I don't know. It's crazy. Let's just say the outside isn't the only thing that <laughs> has a downpour or is getting wet. Whatever, shut up. I don't, think the, I don't think that building even has windows, so it's not like she can even see. Yeah, and there's that other building in the way, the, the inn. 
And I, I do the horse stuff next time too. I don't even remember what, what was I doing here. What was I looking around? Was I just looking around for more side quests? I don't remember what I was even doing here. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but um, yeah. Again, like next video, I pretty much just wrap up everything else there is to do in Kakariko Village. Aside from Korok seeds, of course, but we don't talk about that. I do like how NPCs, like uh, like so many of them, have different dialogue options for rain and stuff like that. It's a nice touch. A lot, of, you know, some of them will, du you know, duck into a building. Some of them won't. Some of them will just stay out in the rain. I like that. It's a nice little touch. Yeah, I didn't. I, oh, okay. I think this was it. Maybe I, I didn't want to actually um, buy a uh, buy a night. But eventually, I, I think I just do anyway because it's right next to Coco's like little fire cook area. So, oh shit. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'll just ignore that. <laughs> we'll just pretend like that didn't happen. Yeah, I don't think Coco goes out until like noon though. That's the problem. And like I, I keep trying, and it like it just keeps fucking raining, so I can't. Because again, she she gives four side quests, so that's like so so insanely useful. Yeah, whatever. You know, here. <sighs> yeah, I figure it out eventually. There's only there's only like another few minutes left. I don't, yeah, I should have just had a fucking guide open, but whatever. You so many side quests I still have open up. Yeah, I think I realized, oh yeah, I can just wait here instead of going in the inn. And then, of course, I'm pretty sure it rains again. Doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah, it's fucking raining again. Having the worst goddamn look, just trying to do this one side quest. <laughs> Anger. No, I, I must. I must give uh, Coco a fucking carrot because apparently she's too stupid to go buy one, or too poor, either one. And I decided, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna just go in the end. It's right here. Yeah, you better wake me up when I want you to, you lazy bastard. Not like you got anything else to do. I do like how in this game all the the um, Sheikah have white hair. I like how they kind of added that in. Because with the Ocarina of Time, I wasn't really sure if Impa was just old or if like Sheikah were just all supposed to have white hair. You see there, like, oh, I'm a bad big sister, I can't cook like properly. It's like, oh, that's so depressing. You're way too young to be worrying about that crap. <laughs> it's sad. Yeah, I do. yeah, everyone who cooks gets the jingle, not just Link. It's great. Hmm. Yeah, then again, like another three side quests, but that'll be next time. Um, oh yeah, okay, I, oh, I started, okay. I think, or whatever. Good thing I bought that goat butter, I wasn't sure if I actually had any. Before I bought it. Because I felt like, oh yeah, I think I, oh actually, I do do that, huh? Maybe it's only like the last one I do, I do next time. It was just great, just yeah, just getting a bunch of cyclists done. Just here, take this. Oh, here, take this. Oh, here, take this. It's great. If only all the side quests were this damn easy. Dang, I, I've been done with this game by now. Ooh, hot butter apple. Yes. Okay. Now I think I stop. No. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I don't. I I just don't even remember. Well, it looks like Coco's got to go out and fucking slaughter an animal. <laughs> well, it looks like I got to tear off the head of a goat and get some raw meat. Or one of the cuckoos. Actually, no, don't mess with the cuckoos. Yeah, yeah. diddly doodly doodly da. Cooking theme. Yay. But anyway, so, um, yeah, this, this, is, this is basically it. Uh, next time, again, I'm going to do a bunch of side quests. I pretty much just do everything in Kakariko Village that I haven't done already. So, I, I think I make some pretty good progress. So, I'll see you then for that. Bye-bye.